Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome along to yet another tutorial on the channel. So around two years ago, I finished up what was my favorite series that I've done on the channel and that is the Bass House track from Scratch series. Um, it was just a blast, had so much fun with it, recording the pre-drop, the cowbell, the random shenanigans that went on. Um, so I thought, you know what? It's long overdue. It's time for another one. Heaps of comments I got from the last Bass House series was like, when's the next one? When's the next one? When's the next one? I thought, you know what? Now's the time to start it. I may have mentioned the tear out track from Scratch series in the last video, and I'm sorry if you're looking forward to that, but um, I've just been listening to a lot of Joyride. Well, let's get into it. Tempo is 126 BPM. Let's start off with a bit of sound design before we get into the drums. I think I usually start all my series with drums, and I should probably not do that. Envelope one, drag and drop. Uh, LFO one, we will go, let's go on the course pitch. And to trigger. Okay, that's a bit too much. Yeah, that's the kind of sound we want. Delay, let's chuck multi-band compression before that. OTT. It's gonna be a lot of OTT, it's, it's good to be back. Uh, this kind of bandwidth, uh, what are we thinking? 16 and 16. I could have just linked that. No, this could normal actually. Let's link it. Great linking. A little bit of distortion. High notes. And we've still got too much bass, so EQ, and lastly, a little bit of low cut slash high pass. And maybe decay. Yeah, okay, there we go, that's a good start off sound. Now, where do I put it? I wanna edit this a bit. Maybe it's not a saw, maybe it's a sine wave. Oh, that sounds way better. And we need some sidechain, but we need something to sidechain it from, or to, from. Sidechain to the kick, from the kick. Trusty medallion. Fuck it, F sharp sounding sick. Nice fade tool on that, make it super crisp. Command D or Control D for that duplicate. Um, and sidechain, here we go. Sidechain to, from. Sidechain from the kick. Oh, it's not to, it's from, fuck. Uh, anyway, this kick. Yeah, something like that. I'm not going to use the serum delay actually. And we want a bit of swing, so I'm going to hot swap mode, swing. A little bit of swing. I used like 65 or 55 last time. I'm going a little bit less swing. Double click. And it should lock it to that groove. So realize these kind of swungy loop bits are too swung. So let's make them back to the normal kind of grid. Sixteenths instead of like swung sixteenths. So then when we apply the groove over here, it will swing them out to the appropriate amount that matches the synth effect. Thing. Yeah, okay, let's go. I want forward instead of forward and back. Okay, good start, good start. Maybe some back, more background effects. Where we at? Oh yeah, so I was gonna do delay on this. Delay. And I think I might group these together, add in a little bit of flavor. EQ3, gonna smash out that low end and that high end. Oh, 
So we're gonna have it on there, off here. Bring out the kick a bit more. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll just paste that over to these. Actually, I have an idea. I'm gonna have sub in the background, so I don't want these kicks too dominant with the lone thump. Operator. Um, nice clean sub. FM from Osby a little bit. Just increase the harmonics. I'll show you, I'll visually show you what it's doing. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is the sub. Pretty consistent, one. How much harmonics do we want this up? Just a couple more. Give it a little bit of the low mid. Um, I'm gonna steal the side chain, alt option or alt. Maybe subtle. Or maybe. Like that, y'all. Uh, and then overdrive. Why don't I just write that in instead of like boom boom? We want a little gap at the end, so it's not like super consistent drone note, it's just kinda like in your face, in your face. So that's what we're going for. Here we go. Alright, want some claps. Um, that's a good start. I want a little bit tighter since it's bass house. So maybe that and that. Yeah, and I want one more layer as well, which is kind of like the distorted clap almost. I think that's the best way to describe it. It's got a rich kind of high mids area. drag this into the drum group which I will label in a second so we don't uh, get confused and be like where the hell is everything which happens in every track from scratch series I do so let's not do that oh instant pizzazz pizzazz, pizzazz not fizzazz what the fuck's pizzazz oh the claps and the kick just glue together fuck yeah That sounded sick. Uh, whatever the fuck that. But this was side chained, so kick at the top. Um, we still want this to be side chained instead of the whole sound coming through. So I'm just gonna mute this channel or automate mute this channel. So it's on here and then it's off here. The audio still gets routed or routed through to the side chain. Like so, even though the kick isn't being heard. Um, Okay, maybe a bit before that. Mmm, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. Where's that 909 inspired hi-hat? Open hi-hat. Fuck, that's the money maker. <laughs> Ooh! Although this is sounding a little bit too distorted for that hi-hat, so I might drag it out of the drums group come to think of it. Oh, that's a fucking yo! That's some, that's some grit. Did we, did we... Can you get some shakers in the background? Fuck it now. It was getting, it was getting good, what? Actually, I'm not going for the loop this time. We will rock you. <laughs> See how much of an influence anything slightly musical or lyrically has an influence in our life? It's just like, anytime you drop we will in a conversation, you're like, rock you. That's like genius subliminal marketing, even though it's not really marketing, but you could definitely play that to your strengths. 
What's what's a common phrase? Would it be something like I know right? And then you can incorporate that into your lyrics and then whenever anybody says I know right, you instantly think of that song. That's a fat loot to add in. We just need to add in a cheeky hi-hat, one shot. I don't want that whole thing, I want just that little sound. It may be gonna be the one that saves me. <laughs> Pitched. It's meant to be a shaker, this is not very shakery, but it will fill out the background uh, elements and noise and whatever. Also going to sidechain this, but not as much. Control J to consolidate that, where's the groove? Alright, I want some effects in the background. What are we in? We're in F-sharp minor. Let's grab some shenanigans. C-sharp, let's fucking drag it down. C, B, A-sharp, A, G-sharp, G, seven semitones. Fuck, that's gonna be low. <laughs> That does that sound weird? Like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Where's the delay? Do we want echo? That could be banging. What, what does this one do? More feedback. There's one per Fuck is that? Yeah, nah, you're getting yeeted, you pinger. That can actually suck my... See, where is it? Where is it? Where the fuck is it? I kind of like the feedback, but I don't at the same time. I might have to uh, resample that. I'm assuming this decay kind of uh, messes with the feedback. Oh, no, it'll be that. Ah. Oh. No, it's the output. Okay, okay. It's it's a cool feature, but when you don't want it, it's like, what the fuck? Kind of sounds like the start of Voodoo People by uh, Prodigy. That echo can fuck off. Mute. <laughs> Is it three or four? D sharp, E, F, F, four. Oh, where's the side chain and the hundies reverb for this? Here we go. We want it blended into the background, so a shitload of reverb, mainly dictated by the dry wet knob. Decay time, yeah, let's crank it. Duplicate. Negative eight, octave down.
Okay, nah, complex. What, what are you, what are you doing? Bring in the scratches. No, 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 too low. Ooh. Clap, clap, ba boom, boom. Oh, the secret sauce. Nah, 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 nah. When it swung out, I reckon. Nah, tired of claps, where are you? Nah, what, what am I doing? Volume down? We want a synth in the background. I don't know what to fucking add. One random wavetable. One OTT. One sidechain. <laughs> fucking. Nah, the reverb can go away. Was there even reverb yet? And where's the release? We want a clicky sound at the end and fast attack. I may have ruined that. And get rid of the low end. Maybe it needs a vocal. Maybe it needs, um... Where's some fucking... Hold on, a bunch of effects on I just need, like, pre-made effects to go. And I'm not talking about the fan rack either, because it's not a bass. Oh, I'll attempt to use the freeze. How long does it freeze it for if we click freeze track? You little shit. What the point in that? Freeze track, flatten track, want a lot of reverb, make it louder, pitch it up. Twenty-four. Reverb the reverb. Side chain the reverb. And I think we're getting there. Maybe up. Uh, maybe a different one. Maybe this one, but down one. Oh wait, we are in F sharp. Click that. Wait for it. Damn, this mute. Wait, no, no, where's the sub bass? No, 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 go away. Do 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 section. You got 128, and you go up one semitone. Where is it? Boom. All right, maybe that. It's hard to tell if that blip is in key because it's, it's such a crazy pitch. That's definitely a shot. Fuck it, maybe that.
Too much, too much, too much reverb. Oh, what an intro. Fuck yeah, that's a banging start to the track. I am digging that. Next episode is going to be the build up. Just build that energy up. Slam it into the first drop. It's going to be a good one. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. This is going to be the start of a new series. Link to the next episode will be right here. Hope to see you there. Have a great day. And I'll see you next tutorial or whatever I'm doing on this channel. Have a great day and peace.